function of education is to teach one to think intensively and to think critically. Intelligence plus character, that is the goal of true education. Wise words from a wise man, Dr. Martin Luther King. But there's another king that we want to talk about today. At the University of Dreams, we are blessed with anointed educators who stress the importance of intelligence and character every day. And one of these anointed educators has decided to retire. So today, we dedicate this entire episode to a queen named Sister King. One of the history things about Sister King I want you to know is a few years ago, I met with some superintendents and we had a huge thing here, a, a lot of, of officials in Dallas district. And we just started reading, kids reading at five, then we pushed it down to four. And then we started saying, hey, if they can't read, we'll give you a refund. So that's how it started. And so Sister King and I got together and it was like, let's see if we could take them to three. And I said, okay, we're gonna guarantee that they get so many words by three. And it sounded crazy. And we started a three-year-old reading program here and it's still in, progress down um, and and that was the she she was the foundation for that all right this is our tribute to an amazing queen named sister king we appreciate you so much for 19 years of excellence thank you sister king for everything that you've done for our scholars we appreciate and love you so very much sister king is a pillar in education our scholars are better because of Sister Tonette King. And we just thank God for you, Sister King, and we wish you all the best in your new endeavors. We love you, Sister King! Working at the same school for 19 years is extremely rewarding, especially when your three-year-old former students grow up to become your co-workers. It is a blessing to be here yes. while you're here. Oh my um, God. You were here when I was three, two years old, something like that. And it's amazing because I know that you had to have perseverance. You're um, yes. a very big role model. You showed me how to stick through something, even through the hard times. And <laughs> it's just an inspiration, a really big inspiration. I love you. <laughs> how you doing, family? My name is Brother Greg Jackson. I've been a member here since I was born. I came all the way up through the school. And Sister King happened to be one of my teachers when I was a baby and when I was three. And she one of my all time favorite teachers. She taught me how to write in cursive. People still tell me I write pretty to this day. And I just want to say thank you. She taught me how to be a good person. She gave me a sense of humor and everything. I love her so much. Sister King and I met in 2000, August of 2000. And we've been what they say just buddies ever since then. She's been awesome. I've learned a lot from her. We've weathered the storm together. Yes, yeah. We have, <laughs> man, we've seen a lot of our students grow up to be um, adults. adults. We've seen them <laughs> go off to college, come yes, back from college. Back. We have engineers, we have aeronautical <laughs> space uh, students here yes, come out do. of this school. Um, we still keep up with a lot of them. Oh, yeah. And it's just been awesome being here with her. Um, I just can't say enough about Sister King. I love Sister King class. We play and learn so much. When we are in Sister King's class, we have a lot of fun. And she is so nice. Sister King is cool. I love her so much. So what do you do for a person who has given so much and inspired so many? What do you do for a person who has taught intelligence and character? Well. It never hurts to give the gift of inspiration. So, Sister King, your copy of Ricky's is on us. We pray that you continue to put on the whole armor of God. And we pray that you continue to use the best weapon you have, which is the Word of God. I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to work here and learn and grow. I can never go away from this place to say that I didn't learn anything because I have learned positive things and now I have grown with this Christian God and I know that I can go further in life now and not be afraid to move. Yeah.